So when I think of miracles, I don't typically think of pianos. But apparently this company, the software Toolworks, was like, you know what? It's a fucking miracle piano. So they released something called the Miracle Piano. And it's supposed to teach you how to play. And I'm I'm just gonna I'm just I'm gonna show you it. Welcome to this unboxing today of this oh, Miracle Piano Teaching System. It's upside down. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. All right, now we're right side up. Okay. You see? You see? You see this? Right here. Miracle Piano Teaching System. I'm going to show you this thing right here. It was made in the USA. So we're going to crack open this big ass box. Let's check out this styrofoam shot right here. Yep. All right, so this is going to take a second. I'm going to cut this out. Push! All right, we're almost there. I've almost got it. Almost. So close. Getting a miracle out. It's a fucking miracle. Today, I present to you Made in the USA. The top front miracle says right there in styrofoam. I hope you all enjoy the styrofoam because I hate the sound of styrofoam. It's fucking insane. Sounds like asshole. Okay, let's pop this bad boy off. Throw that over there. Alright, so we got some nice uh, plastic wrap on it. Looks pretty new. Um, when I got it, the speakers were popped out um, of place, unfortunately. I did get it very cheap, so that was a benefit of it. I have not plugged it in yet, so I don't even know if this thing is, is going to work or what. I just wanted to give you all a little uh, history lesson regarding this uh, nice piece of hardware. Alright, now that all the... The plastic is, is all out of there. A little Ziploc bag. AC adapter. I know it's missing some of the components, like it has a foot pedal that it's missing. Um, something else, let's get this out of the way. All right, so we have the Miracle keyboard here. Speakers are out of place, like I said. Um, some little doodad buttons. Volume up, down, organ, harpsichord, electric piano. Vibraphone, piano, synthesizer. I don't know what the power things do. I guess I didn't look that far into it. Um, let's uh, let's give it a plug in here. We got this plug and we got this other end of the plug. Let's see if it does anything. If it sparks, I'm sorry. All right, we're back. We're back. All right. Uh. Oh. Oh shit! It works. Amazing. Okay. All right. Okay. So I didn't actually know that this thing was going to still work. So this was actually for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and IBM PC. IBM PC. We'll say that. It was on Mac, so you could uh, learn how to play the piano on the Mac, or you could learn how to play it on the Sega Genesis, uh, Amiga. Commodore. It was basically for anything that they could fucking plug adapter and went bloop and yeah, you get the idea. Came out 1990. 1990? 1990? The software tool works. Um, it had some reception, like good reception. A lot of people liked it. Um, there was some other games that came out for it. Kinda. That's kind of right, right? That was off, but, you know, it was close. It was close. 
Okay, so that's like a standard organ. Synthesizer. Sounds sounds kind of generic, yeah. Okay. Electric piano sounds honestly like shit. I don't see why we'd ever use an electric piano. Vibraphone. Alright, so that's all the settings. So, there is a miracle port and there's some like audio out cable, so you could like hook this up to just some speakers or like a amplifier um, as well and just kind of play through that. Which is kind of cool, actually, if you think about it. And it has the MIDI in and out, so this keyboard in itself is pretty neat and was fairly functional. So this key board this keyboard was $500 when it came out pretty expensive so it didn't sell very many so there's not very many of this keyboard existing out in the wild like lions or uh some other extinct animal lions aren't extinct I don't know why I said that when you look at the games, if you go look up gameplay, uh, it, it was just bad. It was just really, really bad and poorly done. So the games were bad. Well, one of the games was bad because it was basically just a metronome with some sheet music. What good is that? If you don't know how to read sheet music, it's fucking useless. Like, I can't read sheet music. I couldn't tell you what a, a note is, other than that it's a little dot with a line. That's a check mark. Um, some of the other games were like a little robot that you did, had to like play the keys and make, made it do things. And some of the graphics were cool, so I guess I'll give it credit there, but I don't know. I feel like they only gave it good ratings at the time because it was like a one of a kind item or something that you couldn't you couldn't get elsewhere which is neat but also gives it an unfair advantage for no reason but i mean cuz the whole idea was it was to teach you how to play piano right and if you wanted to learn how to play piano i guess it was like a good beginner tool like oh yeah this is how you learn but realistically it, it probably wasn't a, a good place to start but, it's a cool collector's item. It's not half bad for a MIDI keyboard. I could hook this up to my computer right now if I wanted. So if you uh, want to use the keyboard on your computer, you will have to have special software. You can't just plug it in and play. For anyone wondering. I'm sorry. I don't know how to play a sad tune, but I would. I can play Epona's song from Zelda. You're welcome. So this had a successor. Uh, it was called a Piano Discovery that was founded in 1995. But the successor could still use the Miracle keyboard. And what a miracle that is! <laughs> I, I wish I had a drum, because I would have went, but um. So there hasn't been any games that have come out like this, though I wouldn't really call this necessarily a game, more like a accessory or a tool. The closest thing I can think of is Keyboard Mania that came out um, that was in the arcade and for PS2, done by Konami in their Bimani series, um, which had like a, a miniature version, I think it was 
this many keys from here to here, these notes right here. And um, it was kind of like the keys would fall and then you'd have to hit it to the beat or not the beat, the, the rhythm. And uh, you would actually just have to play, essentially, whatever it was. Maybe it had a full-size keyboard. I don't I don't actually remember. Um, they had a, a few other games like Beat Mania, Poppin' Music, that were similar in style where something would fall or something would move and you'd have to hit the, the keys in succession. And I play a lot of those games. Um, obviously, most people have heard of DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, where you have to step to the beat, to move your feet. But um, I don't know if you could count that in the same realm as this. But that's that's all I can really think of that kind of match what this tried to do in terms of music. And then obviously if you go the Guitar Hero or Rock Band route, for those who who know of those, like, I guess that's music teaching, if you will. In a sense, um, I'm gonna play an original song I wrote for this, uh, this, this video because, um, after uh, after realizing it worked, uh, figured I should write something. So I quick wrote up a little, uh, a little magic for you with my fingers and the keys, you know, the 88 keys, and uh, figure I'd play it. Okay, ready? Dog and D.I.A. Nah, nah, nigga. Guess who's back? Steve. Still doing that shit, Andre? Huh, 